What's going on, beautiful people together here, and today we are going to be going over the Warrior Den live stream in which they showcased off the new hero, whose name I've already forgotten, but basically it is the female Chinese pirate, which I predicted we were going to get, and I understand a load of the people who were on my video in which I said that the new hero was going to be a female Chinese pirate, who was based on the real life Chinese pirate queen, was like, no Jagira, you are wrong. Well, turns out I am right, you are wrong, so you can go and do one. I understand gender locking is a topic which is of much frustration for the community and uh, frustration in general to be honest with you, I am not a fan of gender locking in any way, shape or form. One of the reasons I quit Black Desert Online was due to the fact that gender locking exists in that game and I kind of feel that like when you are playing a game and you want to go and have the character and you kind of want to put yourself into that character, having like a gender role took away from it is very irritating and very frustrating, you know, I do find that very vexing, incredibly so, so not happy that it is gender locked, but I did call that this was going to be the case, and uh, yeah, so here we are, who knows, maybe one day in the future we're going to be able to go get it where we will be able to play all heroes regardless of genders and all that sort of stuff, but until then, we've got to put up with it, I ain't going to complain, I'm going to play, but if you're going to complain, then you May I seek touching grass? Right, anyway, so let us talk. So, I'm not really going to be like delving far too much into like the entire live stream. This is just going to be my very quick recap of what I feel about the hero. Number one, I kind of like how they've done the whole story thing that they don't have a ties to the Wu Lin, they don't have a tie to anyone apart from themselves, it's their own allegiance. We kind of saw this in the hero teaser reveal when it was a. Uh, Asteria and Griffin looking at the pirate ship and the pirate queen on there kind of symbolized how you know it was the Chimera and the Hawkos who was really trying to be putting this forward and this wasn't someone who was kind of coming from the Wulin they suggested there was a Wulin civil war and they are an orphan from the civil war I do like how Ferrana does go into this sort of story aspect of the video game and I do like them setting up lore and all this sort of stuff it is very good for the casual player base and it's very good for us little bit of lore nodes as well once again, I am someone who does love lore, and I just kind of wish that when we get in stuff like this, it's like, okay, for honor, now we really would like to have a PvE aspect of this where we can explore the world and explore the lore at whole, but hey, these little crumbs, I'm happy with. The weapons, by the way, cutlass and gun, I didn't actually think the Mad Louds were going to do it, and we were actually going to get a gun that we can use in combat, but we can. Now, it's... I'm going to say this is a bit like a sort of a Shigoki head button to say. It's a bash that confirms damage. And, uh, I mean, some of it was just like, hey, my God. So, if you land a heavy, uh, I believe it's a heavy, you can then guard break and you can do damage. If the heavy hits, you hit them with damage. It does, I think it's five damage. If you hit them with a heavy and they block the heavy, you can still do your guard break to shoot them. But they have the ability to dodge. Uh, if they don't dodge, they get hit by, I think it's 14 damage. Bashes that have confirmed damage is very, very... Uh, I think this is going to be the way it's going to be going forward from now on. Like the whole sort of Shigoki thing where it is the bash, which has the bash uh, component plus the damage. That is basically what we're going to be getting from now on. Whether we like it or not. Me, I like it. You know, it's a... Uh, you, you get it, you do the damage, you don't therefore run the risk of your teammate kind of just, you know, giving the opponent revenge. And then as you do your follow-up attack, you then get knocked over. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. Once again, I mean, who's surprised, really? It's got undodgeables, it's got unblockables, it's got bash, it's got dodge attack. Every hero in Ferrana is basically becoming a... Uh, well, they're basically just defaulting to this sort of stuff. And they act, every hero does need these things in the kit. But I do like how they're having their little bit of a unique twist. For example, I mean, we have got basically what is, in retrospect, an infinite chain. You've got a light into a bash, into a light into a bash. By the way, the bash obviously does do damage, so I'm happy for this because it's still got its own identity. But like I say, you know, bashes and undodgeables and unblockables and uh, is the way to go. Something that they've done which is new, and I don't think any other character does have this. If I am wrong, then please correct me in the comments down below. You know I love it when you all do that to me. They do have, I think it's their forward dodge heavy attack, has an un unblockable and then an uninterruptible stance to it. 
or hyper armor. I know I think it's hyper armor and it's unblockable, which is really strong. I don't think any other hero has that in the game. That is pretty potent. They have a down stance as well that you can do after attacks, and it opens up a just a just a load of different options really. Pardon me. I do like though how we're not getting pigeonholes into doing the same things. And this gives up different options. We've got one where we can knock the target back, which wall splats. One which gives more guaranteed damage with a pistol shot, so then you can kind of continue going on into your chain. And then another one also where you can just dodge away. They've got a load of dodge recoveries as well, so it's basically just Chinese Orochi with a gun. Fantastic. I love that. You love that. We all love that. The feats. Now, the feats were something... I mean, I did make a video talking about how PvE could save for Honor, and I did kind of say how I would like it if there weren't any feats in Dominion, because I do find it irritating. For Honor basically watched my video and just said, fuck you, Jagira, we're doing what we want. And this hero, its feats play such an integral part of its kit that it kind of shook me, I'm not going to lie. So, for example, I, uh, instead of doing your pistol shot after doing a normal attack, you can do a feat. You can do a feat. So you can shoot them with a bullet that reduces their damage. You can shoot them with a bullet that chains between everyone and puts a bleed debuff on them, which I was like, wow, okay. There's a small bomb, which is basically like Pugo Mortis. And then there is like, you just pull out a bazooka, fire a cannonball, which then explodes and knocks the target down. The blokes in the live stream who was uh, doing, I'll just smack my desk, Jesus Christ. The blokes who were doing the live stream basically said it's like a ranged Jormungand of 4, but better. And that is basically true. When I saw this, I was like, oh my god. Most likely we'll be able to ledge with it as well. Um, as it's an explosion, obviously it knocks you away from the center. So uh, like maybe a little bit of positioning, you know. We can maybe see a few trick shots happening on the Reddit page and that sort of stuff. But yeah, ranged Jormungand of tier 4. Didn't need it, didn't want it, didn't ask for it, but here it is. Um, I can already sense myself getting knocked down by that. And hearing a Yormungand scream in Icelandic and an Incredibilis coming flying towards my arsehole, just fucking ripping it apart. Not really looking forward to that, but at the end of the day, I mean, the feats do look cool. I mean, there is no denying that. I don't like feats in uh, Dominion. I stress that so much, but like I say, they've really made this so that the feats are a huge part of the character and while i have no issue with that i did notice that like the feats they were charged really quick like especially the first one and the third one they were charged really really fast so active feat usage is going to most likely be like a the the thing this character is going for in uh, dominion and breach and other game modes where you can use your feats which is nice, but I mean, this is when we're going to come into the whole thing of like, okay, then Dominion's going to need its rework coming through very quickly where they can kind of balance out the sort of feat generation. Because once again, if you're on the team that's absolutely decimating and you are getting your feats online and the feats are cooled down fast and you've got a hero whose entire thing is about using your feats... You are just going to be absolutely slaughtering the competition. Now, where do I place this hero? I'm not a pro, but like, from what I'm looking at, I'm this hero is going to be incredibly strong. Very strong on release. Uh, maybe wait one, two, maybe even three weeks after release, and then I'll come back and make another video where I talk about her and like how I actually think. But yeah, yeah. I mean, guys, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the new hero. Honestly, like I said, I will be playing her when she drops. I mean, that is totally true. I am happy that we got the female Chinese pirate because, what, once again, that proves that I'm right. You know, Jigiro doing the big brain strats and working that out. Uh, I'm happy that they've actually used the gun in a way. I mean, other people are like, I don't understand how they can use a pistol in my medieval fighting game. I want all of you to go onto Wikipedia and work out when the Chinese started, like, using gunpowder and then uh, get back to me on that one, okay? But anyway, beautiful people, until then, remember, we've got the Discord, we've got the TikTok, we've got the Twitter, we've got the Twitch, the link to the four socials in the description box down below. I will be live streaming next week. Um, 
not too sure exactly when, but your boy's got holiday from work, and obviously I'd love to live stream, I'd love to talk to all of you, hang around. We may play For Honor, we'll play a bit of Final Fantasy. New Pokemon games coming out as well, and I'd like to go play that as well, and generally I'd love talking to all of you, and I would love to actually have a live conversation with all of you, so doing that on Twitch is going to be absolutely fantastic, I cannot wait to see all of you there. Until next time though, beautiful people, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure that you become absolutely awesome by doing that. Stay hydrated, stay awesome, and until next time, I will see you all, until next time, I'll see you all next time, beautiful people, take care, and bye-bye.